Well, if you watch the series Castle, I think you will agree with me. Nathan Fillion, star of The Rookie on ABC, he is one of the most likable actors in Hollywood. Season five of the show just kicked off here on ABC on Sunday night. Joining me now, two very talented actors that work alongside Nathan from The Rookie, Melissa O'Neill and Eric Winter. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Good morning. Doing great. Good morning. Hey, we are so excited to have this show back up. I literally, I can't believe we are at season five. I remember when the show premiered. Here we are. Uh, you play Sergeant Bradford. You play Officer Chen. People love you together so much online. They call you Chenford. Yes, they do. We yeah. wear that badge very proudly. I mean, they have T-shirts made. They yeah. have some stickers. It's it's it, amazing. Yeah, they they literally have created their own swag. It's it's impressive. <laughs> our um our fandom, you know, I've never been a part of something this grand uh, in in the fandom sense, but Chenford is very real online and uh, driving a lot of aspects of our storyline. Mm. All right. Well, we're we're super happy to have you back on the air. Uh, a lot of our viewers have seen the first episode. Tell us what's in store for season five in in your storyline together. Our storyline kind of diverges after the premiere. Um, I go off and I start my journey as an undercover officer, and I do a lot of solo writing for a period of time. I don't think that's a total spoiler. It might be a little one, but that's okay. Um, and Eric is off being a training officer still. Yeah, I mean, let's face it. Vegas was a lot for um, Tim and Lucy, you know, as it should have been. Um, you know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas as we said in our teaser mm -hmm. um, of the show but i think uh at what she said is is true you know we come off of this really big um day this adventure this insane culmination of events for tim and lucy undercover and she goes off and explores different aspects of her career and i get put with somebody else to work with and start training um and just partner with and exploring again those different aspects of being together but not as, as co-workers. We're still interacting throughout episodes coming up and it makes it fun. I tell you, it was a total treat. People can go watch uh, the first episode if they didn't see you feature Las Vegas, but you're working undercover with a detective. I believe it was Detective Lopez. Uh, and we were just so excited to see you work with our police department here, which of course locally we call Metro. Uh, but was it fun for you guys? I know you're both, um, you're both fans of Las Vegas. Absolutely. Who doesn't love Vegas? I mean, well, hold on a second. We, you have a problem we, with Vegas? No, 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 no. <laughs> we love Vegas, and and we really wanted, we really wanted to be there. Well, yeah, that's so this, this is the thing. Here's a fun spoiler: we were supposed to actually shoot in Vegas, yeah, we, and it didn't happen. We were gonna fly out there. It was going to be this whole thing. They were getting it all set up, and then it didn't happen. And it was like a huge bummer for all of us. And we had to shoot it here and try to find some place that could mimic the majesty of Las Vegas. Yeah, TV magic. We were supposed to be in Guatemala in season four. We were in Pomona, yeah. and then we were supposed to be in Vegas, and we ended up in Palm Springs. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I <laughs> thought, you it was, know what? Uh, it would have been a blast to actually be there. I thought I noticed a little bit of the landscape uh, of, of Los Angeles, maybe, in some of those shots, but they're very, very similar. Uh, another place where a lot of TV shows are filmed, of course, Canada. Melissa, I know you're a native Canadian. We have so many Canadians here in Las Vegas. Um, I think many people might recognize you as the winner of Canadian Idol. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was so exciting. Do you, do you still sing? Uh, every day. I sing every day. I don't sing for um, my dinner anymore. But I, I still, what? my dinner, you sing for your dinner. Huh? Okay, that's like, you know, it's... it's. Well, this is weird. No, you sing for your dinner. You sing for your dinner. Someone has to serve you dinner when you sing? It's such a phrase. I no, have done I dinner get for it. a long time ago, but I did. It's so <laughs> very old. Um, but that was a very long time ago and it's still a lovely memory. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I still <sing>. Literally, <laughs> like you were so young and to see you uh, win that contest was amazing. Eric, we didn't even get to talk about how you've done a commercial with Britney Spears. Britney is like a very beloved person around here in Las Vegas. Really quick, just give me, uh, give me a highlight of your time with Britney. Uh, it, it was wonderful. A fun little uh, behind the scenes is that Brittany and I worked together for about maybe an hour and then the rest of the time it was somebody else <laughs> as a body double, which was really fun. Um, she, was, she was super cool though, really sweet the time I worked with her. She's a megastar. 
And it was a cool commercial. It was fun. Oh, yeah. It's really fun. You can go see it on YouTube, as a matter of fact. Melissa, Eric, thank you so much for your time this morning. Uh, guys, I know that you've been waiting this whole interview to get up in peace, so now would be the time. Thank you so much for joining me from Los Angeles this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in to see season five of The Rookie right here on ABC Sunday.